Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you haven't subscribed, why not? <laughs> I'm going to do this video about Lisa, I can't remember what it's called, something about moving in stories because I've had quite a few of Lisa fans popping over and telling me how rotten and mean and stupid and ignorant and whatever else I am. Lisa loves her pets. She's this and she's that. Blah, 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 blah. For those of you that have said that and you're here to tell me that, how long have you been subscribed to her? If you're new, then you'll have missed a lot of things. And a lot of people zone out when they're watching videos and they just, they've got a list. Oh, what do I need to go to the shop and buy? What did Lisa get this week that I like the look of? And they don't hear the little throwaway comments or tuts or looks that she gives to her family for interrupting her, yada, yada, yada. Here's the thing, right? Explain to me why she made John and the family move to this new house and she specifically picked this house because she wanted the entire upstairs as her empire. It was for filming, doing get ready with me, doing her fashion shoots. There was a, a bedroom that was going to be her office. There's a closet that's being fitted out for all her makeup. There's another part, like the eaves of the upstairs, that she needs to get someone to come in and sort out so she can put all her shoes and her clothes in there. Meanwhile, she has closets downstairs off her bedroom, the hugest sink and section for putting makeup in I've ever seen. John's got a little tiny sink off to the left. And I dare say she uses, I've seen clips and I know that it's his fucking thing that she's at. Like she used to do in her original home. She had her sink with all her stuff, but she'd go and do her hair at his. Why? Because Lisa has to take over the entire home. In the old house, she had her clothes in Will's closet. So she didn't know he needed anything because she couldn't see what he had. And she didn't care anyway. Back to school just sort of crept up on her and she didn't realise he'd need things. So the new home, she's taken over the house. She's got the whole of the upstairs. That's hers to do her YouTube. And what does she do? She comes downstairs with a clothes rail and lights and cameras and does a fashion show in the fucking dining room at the front of the house where people are walking past and driving past. Why? The upstairs isn't good enough for her anymore. She's now taking over the rest of the house. Anywho, this is her moving story. And she's complaining because she doesn't know where anything is. Maybe if she'd actually done some packing, she might know. But the reason I want to show this video is to show her total disdain for her blind dog who's in a new home, has no fucking clue where she is or where anything is. And Lisa is pissed off because she won't be able to do her video with Bridget whining in the background. Yeah, this is the woman that absolutely adores her animals. Are you watching? Hey guys, it's me and today is Tuesday and I was getting ready this morning and I thought, what video do I want to do today? I've got several in my mind that I want to do and then this morning I went ahead and got together just a little bullet point list of our move in and just some of the things that I wanted to tell you good and bad it is just impossible right now for me to have a successful morning I've got Bridget up here now she can't have a successful morning folks are you listening pacing around crying you cannot make her happy unless you are literally sitting there with her you, it's like a baby. You have to sit there with her until she falls asleep. 
and then you have to sneak off. When we first moved in, I was warming her blankets in the dryer and then wrapping her up in the blankets and that was working and then I think she caught on to me. So I've got her up here. I went to, I'm wearing a slip dress today and I wanted to wear one of my new belts that I got from Nordstrom. I cannot find them. I can't find them anywhere. And I mean, I know they're here. Wah, wah, wah. I can't find my belt. Did you do any packing? No. What did you do? You left it to the last second so John had to pay the packers to do it and now you're going to complain that you can't find anything. No sympathy. None. But just the thought of having to look through the boxes downstairs, which they are labeled, but still. I'm hoping that... She can't look through boxes. Really. She wants to wear a certain belt, but she can't be bothered her ass to look through the boxes. So what is she waiting for? John to do it all as fucking usual. I can find them somewhere else. So I've just got on. I'm just going to go ahead and do an outfit of the day. Right, Reggie? Hey, Chanel. Bubba's here. The only one that's not here is Sassy, and that's because she's on my bed. So I've got on that slip dress from Express. I love it. This is a below the belt belt, and I do like this, but I wanted the look of the other one. And let me see the shoes. Okay, don't let me get in your way, Chanel. Don't let me get in your way. Okay, and so. And if you think that's cute, that's not cute. That's her being passive aggressive because she can't throw her out of the way because we're watching. If you can't see behind the curtain, I can't fucking help you. The, this is what I had pulled out to wear. I, sorry, these are the shoes, the little ones that look like, um, they're kind of like knockoffs of Bottegas. And I can go ahead and tell you right now, this is coming off. I just don't like it. I don't feel good. And nothing is really going well this morning. Okay, so the first thing, this... Do you hear that? Wah, wah, wah. I'm going to take all this off because it's not working. Because all my stuff isn't at my fingertips. Even though I can't be bothered to look in the box that probably is labeled Lisa's clothes but will she actually do anything will she fuck whinge 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 fucking moan you're in a new home settle your fucking animals first and do your video later and for those of you that are gonna go it's her job me 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 she had no she can do a video a day late or a day early people will still fucking watch her haul video that's what you all tune in for. It's not like if she does her Friday haul on Saturday, nobody will be there. I've got them in no particular order. It was just things I thought of first. Okay, remember when I told you guys we really haven't done that much. I tried to do videos right up until the end. And John had it worked out where the movers were coming over to move us on that Monday. Well, I think that Thursday or Friday, as I was moving things, I was like, oh my gosh, this, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get this done. I think I told you guys this. So they were coming over. I did, I did. They were coming over Sunday to help us. So here come some of the points. Nine times out of 10, it's not going to be women coming over to help you move. And I don't know, in my mind, I don't know. Nine times out of ten, it's not going to be women that come over to help you move. No, it's usually big, strong men who pick up the boxes that you've packed and they put them in the van and they drive them to where they have to be. They don't send out a fucking pack of ladies with dusters and bubble wrap who are going to individually wrap every one of your fucking lipsticks and put them in a box. That was your job. If you wanted them to come in and take the big stuff and you do the rest, that's great. Why could you not pack your own room, your own things? How difficult is it? 
I don't get this woman. I just can't with her. Why I thought it was going maybe going to be some women to help pack. I don't know. I didn't really. I guess I just didn't think about it. So in come these two. No, you didn't think about it. You expected someone else to do it like you always do. And where were you on moving day? Having your fucking hair done. Why weren't you there? You guys, sweet as they could be, just worked so hard and they did everything right. It was just things that I didn't know. But they ended up calling their boss and saying, look, it was going to be like a whole house pack because we had moved like little things out of every room, but we weren't through with all the closets and stuff like that. Okay, so... So this was on the Sunday, was it? And you're moving on the Monday and nothing's packed. What the fuck? Bottom line, to save money, John and I went and bought boxes at Lowe's, $400 worth of boxes. I, in my opinion, it is not worth the wardrobe boxes, the ones that you can hang your clothes, unless, now keep in mind, I'm moving 10 minutes down the road. Like literally, I don't even know how many miles, but it's, I moved in between where I used to live and my parents. So it was just like a little move and so all i ended up doing we packed a couple of those unless you're going to pack them up to stay you know in the garage or you're moving like across the country or to another state or something but like we did i just picked them up oh my goodness okay so we'll see how long she'll sit up here but um so anyway we got a couple of those and we ended up using them just for like some of my extra clothes but um goodness you okay she must have like inhaled something in that little that little pig nose and um so we luckily we didn't waste a lot of money on those we just kind of brought everything over little bit by little bit and so we saved money that way but this is something that i would kind of warn you about if you know they packed my kitchen right while i wasn't watching and um maybe when they were packing your kitchen right when you wasn't watching you could have been packing something else do you think they packed every cup i'm talking walmart cup just like I wouldn't care if you took it and just threw it out in the highway. I mean, that's how little I cared about. But how do they know? How are they supposed to know that the cups in your cupboard aren't a family fucking heirloom and you want you're only keeping them because your great grandmother drank out of it? How the fuck are these men supposed to know what you want and what you don't want? This is what happens when people move, Lisa. They purge. They throw things out that they don't need, that they don't want to take with them when they move. Moving house 101. How fucking dumb are you? And they wrapped every cup in big, thick packing paper. And the thing is, I wrote here, get rid of cups, etc. I was, I didn't even want those cups. It was stuff that Brooke, let's see, you just can't make her happy. It was Brooke had brought home. Stop fucking filming and sort her out instead of fucking moaning about her. She's blind. She's somewhere new. She doesn't know where the fuck she is. And you're the only constant that she knows. So maybe go and sit on your bed with her for a while and make her feel comfortable. Woe be tied anyone fucking interrupts Lisa in her element. And just like old cups and everything because I like to drink out of, this sounds silly, but I like to drink out of styrofoam cups because I just, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. Because you're just weird. I don't like drinking out of glass. It just kooks me out and I just don't drink out of cups. So 
we had just certain amount of cups that John likes to drink out of, Will likes to drink out of, and then Brooke would always bring home junky cups, and they were just in the cabinet. And so get rid of all of that stuff because they will pack it. And I was unpacking things, and it would be a thing of wrapping paper that big, and in it would be like either a cheesy little cup or like the top of a butter dish. And then in another big wad of paper, is the bottom of the butter dish now i know that's how they're supposed to do it and a lot of you may love it that way especially if you're moving far away but if i'd have packed those there's the line if i had packed those but you didn't did you you packed fuck all what did you actually pack and had they not wrapped the top and the bottom of the butter dish in paper separately so they wouldn't break and they broke and it was something that you were connected to, you'd be complaining about that. How old are you? I spend most of my time in all these videos asking the same fucking question. How old are these people? You throw out the crap you don't want, you pack the stuff you do and the delicate things that you don't want somebody else wrapping in tons of paper, you move your fucking self. I probably would have put some things in the box, then I would have put a layer of the paper, then I would have probably put some more things, you know, went and sat it out there and wouldn't have thought about it. I wouldn't have wasted all that time boxes, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I would say is just be aware they're going to pack every little thing. Because that's what you fucking asked them to do. Had they individually wrapped up all your fucking bronzers and blushes and eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks, you'd have been thrilled, wouldn't you? Oh, look at how well they packed all this. But because the kitchen means fuck all to you, because you never go in there, you're whinging and whining. I just can't with her, really. Just, you would not believe the amount of packing paper and boxes that I have. Um, think about your animals and pets and fence and all that stuff. Okay, we knew when we moved here, there is not a fence, but it has a teeny tiny little backyard. So this, a lot of this will go with me being a woman and John being a man. And we are very much, he's very much a man and thinks like it. And I'm very much a woman and think like it. And we... What the fuck does that even mean? When it comes to issues like this and push comes to shove, we do not think alike. And thank goodness we love each other and we respect each other so it never gets out of hand. But keep in mind that your priorities are going to be so different. Yeah, I bet John doesn't get all fucking twisted out of shape because your lipsticks weren't packed properly. Or you can't find the belt that goes with that dress. Maybe he's more concerned with actually putting up a fence in the garden so that Bridget can go out, perhaps, maybe. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. Their fucking marriage must be a great load of fun. We don't think alike. How the fuck have you got along this long without thinking alike? What he thought was important was totally different than what I thought was important. What I thought was important, he thought was stupid. So every time I said, we need to get that fence. I mean, we had this house, the rental house, a week before we started moving in. And I kept saying, we need to get the backyard, some type of little fence. We're, you know, Brooks, I mean. Okay, I'll give you that one, Lisa. Sorry, I jumped the gun and you wanted the fence and he didn't think of it. Okay, fair enough. I'll admit when I'm wrong, I was wrong. Bridget's small and she doesn't like jump on a fence so all we need is that little garden type fence you know what I mean and that you just stick in the ground and she's over half blind but she will run away 
and she's not the kind of dog that's used to walking on a leash. I mean, we have and we do, but she hates it. We only do it when we have to. Okay, so the first couple days we're moving here is fine because we're kind of going back and forth. Okay, I just put her downstairs, you guys. I want to cry. Look at the face, because she's been interrupted. She's got the raging fucking hump because Bridget was crying. Oh, but she loves her pets, doesn't she? Yeah. Because I haven't cried yet, but I just, I don't have time. I don't have time to cry. I've got somebody coming over here at 10.45 to do something. Anyway, um... she wants to cry. She wants to cry, not because Bridget's upset and can't settle. She wants to cry because her video has been interrupted and she has to have it done by 10.45 or whatever. Fucking woman. Um, so, needless to say, in the height, the midst of the move, we have to bring Bridget over here. And I have, like, nowhere to put her because I've asked John the whole time to please set up something. Well, he hasn't done it. So, he brought one of those... Have you, when you guys had kids, did you ever have one of those gates? It makes like a, um, it's really for like closing off a room or something. We used to use it to close Will off and keep him away from the fireplace and just, he was a climber, so we had to keep him away from things. He brought that here. So I had like a little space of about like a playpen or something, which, I mean, hey, I was thankful for it because I, if you sat her down in the grass, she would, you know, pee and poop right in the beginning then she got where as soon as you put her in there she started screaming and doing all of her stuff so screaming and doing all of her stuff yeah but she loves her pets so that night i had a woo meltdown we had just moved in here we got all our stuff john was freaking out i was gone doing something he was freaking out for me to get back here for me to tell the guys where to put the stuff and did you hear that folks i was gone doing something while we were in the midst of moving and john dared to phone you to say get your fucking ass back to the house i don't know where any of your shit needs to go and she had a fucking proper meltdown because he should have just done that without her input. He should have just known. How dare anybody interrupt her on hair day and tell her to get back to the house when she's fucking moving. When you watch this video, people, what did you see and what did you hear? Obviously, what not what I'm seeing and hearing. So I'm telling them where to put everything. I'm having to hold Bridget the whole time because you can't put her up. She'll just scream the whole time. And plus they were moving stuff in every room. It wasn't like one room at a time. It would be like things everywhere. And then finally when it calmed down, it was time for me to go get the cats. I had borrowed extra cat crates because I don't ever take them all three anywhere. So I had to borrow some from my parents, my mom. And I just sat down on the couch for a minute and I look over and John is unpacking his vitamins and getting his vitamins organized in the cabinet. And here is where... What if you'd been upstairs putting all your... Oops, sorry, people. Putting all your lipsticks in a row or hanging up your faux furs or arranging your shoes that would have been okay but because john was unpacking his stuff you couldn't have that the vitamins that he probably takes at night and then again in the morning so he needs them out so he can take them and then go to work to earn money for the family but no how very fucking dare he unpack these vitamins you hadn't lined the cupboards oh please that's why you were upset because he was getting his packets of vitamins out and putting them in a cupboard 
Why does the cupboard with the vitamins in need to be lined? You have to just, I mean, I wanted to freak out. I felt like there was a million other things that we should be doing other than organizing and putting up your vitamins. But you have to think that. Yeah, but see, John probably thought that it was important that you were actually part of the move on the day that you were fucking moving and not getting your hair fucking done. Which bit of that have you forgotten? You were off doing whatever the fuck you wanted to do while John was organising everything. Ungrateful bitch you are. I don't know how he puts up with it. I really don't. It was important to him and so I let it go but it was just like building up. Then it was dark and I needed to take Bridget out and so I started looking for the harness to put on her. It wasn't packed up. I realized it was left at the house and I came in and I was like just about to cry and I said this sucks and then you know him being a man what does that mean? You can't it's like women we can't just say a feeling or be upset they immediately either have to fix it or say it's not my fault i've been busting my ass you know and i said it you yeah that's yeah way to go john he had been busting his ass doing fucking everything and he took two minutes for himself to put his vitamins in a cupboard and you had a fucking fit about it you know, it's not about you. I'm just about the situation. So I had to go up to Walmart, buy a harness. I had the leash. I just couldn't find the harness. That is another thing. Think things like that through. Think those things through. The cats, I had to go get them all by myself. We had left the kids' beds there that day because I had to go get them all by myself. How difficult is that? Chanel's up your hole 24-7. So you pick her up and you put her in a fucking carrier that's open and then you shut it and then you call Bubba and you do the same and then Sassy. How fucking difficult is it to pick up three cats, put them in a carrier and put them in the car? What did you want John to do this time? he done fucking everything else. Now you want him doing that as well. I don't, is anybody understanding what I'm saying? I just don't get all the Lisa fans coming over here saying how wonderful she is. Can you not see what she does? Are you blind and deaf? Because we were getting rid of them. We had gotten them new beds and new mattresses. So when I get back there, all the moving and stuff, all the four guys in our house, my cats were freaked out. They were under the bed except for Bubba because nothing freaks him out. He's laying right here sleeping. And um, so I had to go get them all by myself, bring them home. And they really did good. I was going to try to keep them up here for like the first hour or so. But they, they just want to be where I am. I told Brooke I am like a pet Christmas tree. I, everywhere I go, I have three cats and a dog hanging off of me. That is something just really, really, even if you're moving down the street, think about stuff like that. Because, yeah, people already do. Grown-ups plan all this out months ahead. What are we not using at the moment? Right, let's pack that stuff away. What do we not want? What cups don't we want? Have you not heard of purging before you move? I don't, I don't get this. Think about it. Who are you preaching to? You're 50. The average age of the woman that watches you is probably 50. I dare say she knows how to pack a house and move. Oh, I thought women had come in and do it. Why didn't this fucking woman do it? In my mind, thing, other things were going to get done. It's like both of you have different things that you expect to be done. Anyway, okay, um, 
I did have my sheets washed. Thank you for that. That was a blessing, blessing, because like you guys told me, you're going to want to get in the bed. I was so sore. Oh my gosh. My legs were aching so bad. My hamstrings and everything. It was terrible. You don't know that that's really you have your clean bedding in a bag in the car and you take that with you because you want to know where it is along with the kettle but then that's not important to you because you don't drink hot drinks but drinks and snacks or a weekly shop or something you go ahead of the movers you put all that in the fridge you have the bedding ready for when the bed comes and you have things there to make a hot drink or a cold drink for the movers and yourselves. It's not rocket science, Lisa. Fucking children would know that. We were both just worn out. Um, boxes from the ABC store. Okay, when I used to move when I was young, I would always do that. I was always go get boxes from the ABC store and I would pack my stuff. Well. When you guys told me that, I thought, well, I'm not going to do that because I'd rather just go get bigger boxes. And John had ordered some boxes from Amazon. Well, I went right on up to the ABC, the liquor store, and she gave me, she was so nice. They weren't even open yet, but they were getting a delivery. And so I, you know, walked up there and asked them and she gave me a bunch of them and they were so awesome to bring my makeup over because of the dividers. Like some would have... Really? Really? See, this is the thing. Yeah, you're doing beauty YouTube. Yes, you need stuff to do beauty YouTube. But all you had to do was say, we're moving, folks. I'm packing everything away. I'll be probably wearing the same makeup day in, day out, which you do anyway. I'll have my makeup bag to the side. That'll have my essentials in it. Everything else is going to be packed up. And we can virtually go shopping online with each other. Or I can do something else for a couple of weeks before we move. But no, last minute, Lisa. Nothing's packed. Nothing's ready. And you've gone to the hairdressers. Uh-huh. Dividers like this. And then some had just really cool dividers like that where I could put like palettes or whatever else in and they were just the right size for me because even the smaller boxes plus I didn't have to um, put them together and stuff you know like those guys were doing so that was an amazing tip no widow Weesa can't put boxes together no oh, you expected John to do that as well Sorry I didn't listen to you in the beginning, but oh my gosh, that really helped. Oh gosh, okay, this is the main thing that I want to tell you that I did not realize. I'm all ears. What's the main thing you didn't realize about moving house? And I should have. Okay, every time I've ever moved, this is the first time I've ever moved, like, as a family. Even when John and I moved in that house, we, we only had Brooke. She had just turned a year. She turned a year old in the rental house while we were building. And we had come from a much smaller house. We had just gotten married, like, a year before. And we just didn't have a lot of stuff. So, it just wasn't the same as this move after, you know, being in a house over 19 years. And so I have always like, you know, when I moved from apartment to apartment or even apartment to my first house with my first husband, what I would do is I would move almost everything myself during the day in my car. And then that night he and his friends would either rent a truck or get a truck and bring the furniture over. So I wasn't used, I've never had my furniture like professionally moved. So she said, well, maybe we can get it all in one truck. I'll send two. And I didn't really think about that. I didn't know they were going to literally get all of our stuff in one truck. They had another little one that I think they might have put a few like mirrors or something. Which bit of that didn't you understand? Time 
and motion studies and cost. Get as much in the fucking van as you can and off you go. So you didn't know they'd do that. Mm-hmm. In. So I asked the guy, I said, is it okay if I leave all my stuff in the drawers? The only thing I cleaned out was any lingerie or anything because I didn't want anything crazy happening. And so I take... Had I didn't want anything crazy happening. Like what? They put your pants on their head and dance around in the bedroom. They're moving. They haven't got time to look in your drawers to see which one's got your knickers in it. Do you not think they haven't seen knickers and bras before? They're grown men. They're doing a job. They couldn't give a fuck. What's in the drawers? Really? I'm taking that out, but I had some drawers that had some jewelry in it, belts, just lots of stuff in drawers, just like as storage. Well, I did You didn't think to pack your jewelry separately so it was safe and wouldn't get tangled up or lost and put it in the boot of your car. You couldn't be bothered emptying any of the drawers in your side in your chest of drawers or whatever that was a thing she says chest of drawers like that the name's chester it's not it's chest of drawers lisa so she didn't empty out her chest of drawers so didn't know that when they came over and we'll get up and show you they like like say it's your dresser well they you know, wrapped it in a blanket, those nice big heavy blankets. And then they take that big like giant saran wrap or whatever. And then they take your furniture, turn it upside down, and then they throw it in the back of the truck. Don't exaggerate. Yeah, they probably tip it up sideways to see which way they had better fit and they fit everything in. What did you think they were going to do? Put your chest of drawers on its own and take that and come back for a bed and take that and come back for John's chair and then come back. What did you think was going to happen, Lisa? Holy hell. What go has she No. I mean, it is like the equivalent of your luggage on the plane. You know, when you look over and you see them throwing everybody's luggage. I'm not saying they weren't careful with it. But I'm saying when they opened that truck and got here and I looked up in it, it was like Jenga with like sofa, dressers, the buffet. It was like put in there all the way up to the ceiling. I say again, how fucking old are you? In your 50 years, you've never seen a removal van. What do you think, people? Ah, uh, I can't. I just can't. How stupid are you? So, my desk, everything, everything like that that they brought in, there was stuff just like coming out of it. All of my jewelry, like all of my necklaces, I had them like in a tray. They were all out, like in the next drawer, in the next drawer under it, tangled. I still have a bunch of them that are tangled. And that is my fault. Because I should have known that. Yes, you should have. And you should have started packing as soon as you started looking at houses. You knew you were moving. You start packing things away. You start going through your stuff. Oh, they were my period pants. I really don't need to move them to a new house. Let's bin those. Oh, they're an old pair of shoes. They need healing and soling. Can't be asked. Bin them off. Oh. These are a load of cups that I never use. Where, where, which ones does John use? What does Will use? Right, fuck the rest in a bin. But no, because you don't do anything, do you? The only thing Lisa does is laundry. She puts stuff in a machine, takes it from that machine, puts it in a tumble dryer, takes it out of the tumble dryer and folds it. That's all she does in that house. She has cleaners. John does the cooking and the grocery shopping. 
for all of you out there going, oh, Lisa's, she's doing us a favour. She's doing all this for us and she's telling us how to do it. If you're 50 years old and you're watching her and you didn't know that movers pack a van to try and get as much in it as they can, then you're as fucking stupid as she is. I should have taken it out, but I just didn't think. I'm always used to, you know, like two guys carrying it like this and like putting it, you know, the right side up in a truck or something. I wasn't used to or had never seen a truck like packed like that. Really? 50 years of life and you've never seen a removal truck? in real life, in a YouTube video, on a television program. You've never seen how they pack a removal van. I somehow don't believe that. I mean, remember, I've lived here in Wilmington my whole life. And I've lived, my parents still live in the house that we moved into. We built it when I was six years old. So I just don't have a lot of experience with like moving, you know, big, like that so whoo that is a big thing that I learned is get all of your jewelry and everything out see I figured we're moving 10 minutes down the road it's no big deal they just sit in the back of the truck I mean you know so here's another thing too I kept asking John he kept getting on my nerves and I kept getting on his and how I kept getting on his was I kept saying, he has like a truck, like a normal guy's truck, like not a big one, not a real small one, a normal truck. And I said, why don't you rent a U-Haul, like a U-Haul truck? So I think I nagged him enough until he went and got it. But for some reason, it was 20 some dollars a day. For some reason, he could not wait to get that truck back. He said he hated driving it. So he took it back before we were even moved in here. So why didn't you drive it? Why didn't you? It was your idea to get a U-Haul. Why didn't you drive it? You put all the stuff in it, John. I'll drive it there. You unload it. We're laughing. I d and so I think, you know, me nagging him about the truck. And then when I went back to the house after we had paid them to move us in here and we paid and everything, which was a couple thousand dollars. When I went back to the house and saw how much stuff was left there, I almost had a meltdown. I had to hide it because I didn't want to make him feel bad. I could not believe how much stuff was still at the house. So I started nagging him about getting them to come back. You, I what stuff? was left at the house. Was it your stuff that you hadn't taken out of Will's closet and Brooke's closet and your closet and John's closet and all the stuff in the drawers in the bathroom and the cupboard and all the stuff in the bath? Was it your stuff, Lisa? Because I don't hear you saying what it is. kept thinking, you need to get those guys to come back. You need to get those guys to come back. And he kept saying, I don't need them. I can handle it. Give me a chance to handle it. And finally, I think I said it one too many times. And he looked at me and said, would you quit saying that? I will handle it. But of course, now, you know, now he doesn't, now he's aching all over. And to me, it is just so much worth it to pay somebody to do it than to hurt your back or something. Especially, I mean, he's almost... 60 he'll be 60 in january so just whoo i mean you just don't think alike at all okay plenty of time try to overlap your time it took us all week luckily we closed yesterday i went and signed the papers yesterday monday i think they were going today to sign it's not like it used to be where you all sit down and sign it together and it took us all week to get everything out of there which we did have like a an, a um an estate sale guy come and get a lot of the stuff that we didn't want so that helped a lot and then john worked his butt off i mean he who fucking ray 
I was wondering when you were going to say something nice about John. John works his butt off all the fucking time for you. Um, does the man get any thanks for it? Oops, sorry. Ah. Yeah, worked his butt off. And I really wanted him to have some help, but he did not want any help. So between the two of us, we got everything moved. I had, um, we have Molly maids and they cleaned the house. They do a, you know, like a move out clean. So that helped a lot. And um, so it really helps to have that whole week or more. Don't think you're going to get it done. It just took so much longer than I thought is I guess what I'm saying. Okay, the internet. John had it where he did not turn on the internet here until the day we were starting to move. And if I were you, I would get it turned on if you can and get it going before you get in the house, especially if you're like us, both of us have home businesses. And so that was stressful for him to get the routers going and all that kind of stuff. So that's something I would do. Yeah, if you're moving into a rental home and you had a week to do it all, in the UK, when you're in a chain, so I bought your house, you bought another house, someone bought my house. Do you know what happens? Everyone moves out in a day. You get all your crap out of the house and you drive to the next one. And they've got their crap out and they've moved on to their next one. And while you're driving on to your new home, someone's moving into yours. How would you cope with that? Doing it all in a day. That would have been a fun fucking video to watch. And cash for tips. Because we tipped them, like I don't even know how much. That last day, we had to tip them pretty big because they were, you know, they worked for like four hours. So keep your tip money. Um, junk drawers. Okay, I don't know. This may be, I had two junk drawers. They consisted of pads of paper, pens, pens. We all have them. Pads of paper, pencils, pens, sticky notes, batteries hair grips, bobbles, fucking instructions for something that you don't own anymore. <laughs> Doesn't everybody have a shit drawer that everything gets wanged into when you don't know where else to put it? Pencils, highlighters, and they were not in neat little things. They were real old school junk drawers. Uh, cat brushes, cat comb, um, just all kinds of nail files, nail clippers, anything, all that little miscellaneous stuff that you need in the kitchen. And they just poured them into the box. They put like a layer of tissue paper on top of some cups and poured them in there. Isn't that what you said you would have done? Put a layer of stuff, put a layer of paper, put a layer of stuff. You were complaining about them wrapping up the butter dish and now you're complaining because they did a layer of stuff and threw the junk drawer in and you, you're never pleased, are you? Ever. Whereas I probably would have at least poured them into a bag and then put them in there. I would have, I would have, I would. Why didn't you fucking do it then? Nobody needs the junk drawer. You could have had that fucking packed away months ago. I would have done it this way. If it was me, I would have. Yeah, but you didn't, did you? What is the point of you sitting there moaning about what they did and you would have done it differently when you couldn't be bothered your ass to put any fucking effort into moving at all? So I've got those that I need, I need to go through them anyway. It's not any big deal, but just heads up. That's what will happen with your junk drawers. Um, and then I wrote, are your dishes, glasses, expensive or precious? Wrap them yourself. I do have some china, like some Nautica china that my grandmother bought me when we moved in that house. And I love it. And I'm glad that they wrapped it up. But my Fiesta ware, each plate did not need to be wrapped. You know, that's my fault. I should have known. I could have easily, hindsight, I probably would have picked those up. I could have, I would, I should have, yeah. You should have put a bit of effort into moving house. All this video is telling me is that you're idle and you've got no clue what happens in the real world. 
and you expect everybody else to do it. Liquors up. I have like two place settings. I probably would have brought them over or put them in some of those ABC bo or liquor store boxes. I don't know. Do they call it the ABC store anywhere but North Carolina? I don't know. So that is about it for my tips on moving. And oh my goodness, you guys, it is. It has been bittersweet. I, when we went back to the house yesterday to do the final thing, I didn't cry. Brooke cried. Will has been okay. I could tell it upset him a little bit. And so that was just a little something just to have to leave it and everything. This house is very nice, but it's not anywhere I'd want to live for a long time, which is fine. It's just a rental house until we build our house. And the backyard is very small. And today I stepped in poop when I took Bridget out. Didn't know it till I came back in, had walked all around the living room into the laundry room and that's when I looked down and saw the leaves and the pine straw hanging out from underneath my shoe, which really was a blessing because it kept, I didn't get it around as much as I thought. So it has just been like one thing after another. Really? That was something to have a meltdown over, was it? Standing in poo. Most people that have little gardens that dog poo, dogs poo in, clean up after they've done it. They don't leave it there for somebody else to do. And they have outdoor shoes and indoor shoes. They don't, it's like when we take the bins out, we don't go out in our slippers. What the fuck? Like that. But all in all, <laughs> it's been good. It's just been a big adjustment. I'm sorry that my right thing wasn't turned on the other day. I think we fixed the sound recording. A lot of you did not like the pictures behind me. I'm sorry. I mean, it's just going to take a little bit. Please be patient with me to get everything going and, you know, get back in my room. I just wanted to show you these things real quick because I'm wearing them today. I had some time. The um, attorney's office was right in the area of so you went shopping right i'm stopping there folks because i'm not in the least bit interested in what she bought and what she's wearing but for those coming over here to tell me how mean i am and how rotten i am just listen to what she says i have another video i think but even if i don't pay attention to what she actually says and watch her facial expressions no, I can't prove that she left the cat in the garage to die because she deleted it. She suddenly realised, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that and deleted the video. But she still left up the one where she laughed about Bridget circling the drain. She thought that was really funny. If you haven't watched that, go and watch it. See what you think then. Anywho, for those of you that have stuck with me till the end, thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.